Now I'll demonstrate talking to the ESP8266 Wi-Fi module using the C232 cable. First thing I'll do is plug the cable in. Okay, that's linked up through the USB port. I'll start the termite terminal emulator. And I'll set it up. My uh, cable shows up on COM port 6, so I'll set that. The baud rate is 115K. If you have an older ESP8266 module, it might be uh, 57,000, 57K. But uh, mine is 115K. 8 data bits, 1 stop bit, no parity, no flow control. Append a carriage return on the end of every trans, uh, transmission that you make to the to the module. And nothing else very strange about any of these settings, so that's all we need to do. And now we're connected, supposedly, so let's test it out. Send an AT reset command to the module. And it responds with an OK and then a bunch of data that I can't make heads nor tails of, but really doesn't matter. It just shows that the module has been reset and it's doing something. Let's check out the firmware version that we have. And the firmware version is 0160901. In case you uh, want to update to another version, then that at least tells you where you're starting from. Now to set the mode for the Wi-Fi station, we're going to set it as a station and not as an access point. And you use this command. And since it was already set up as a station, then it just reports that there was no change. It's in the same mode as it was before. Now if we want to link up to an access point in my lab, then we use this command, AT plus CWJAP equals, this is the SSID in my lab, XESS, and then the, uh, the uh, password is, in this case I set it up to be 1111, 1111. One 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 one. Just so nobody can drive by my house and come by later on and and log into my network. And it reports OK. Now let's see what access points are available in the immediate area. List access points. And it's come up with, there's the excess access point that's in my lab with a signal strength of negative 66 dBm. And then there's another access point. Must be one of my neighbors. And then there's this zero access point which always shows up. Now let's see what the IP address is that's been assigned by the access point when we joined it. And our internet uh, IP address is 192.168.0.104. So that does show that we've joined an access point and we can now send data back and forth if we had the ability to do that. Uh, but I'm not going to bother to try to type data in uh, through the uh, C232 cable. Now we can quit the access point. like that and to show that we've quit we can go ahead and try to get our IP number again and now it reports an error because we're no longer logged into that access point and that pretty much uh, ends the demonstration of using the C232 cable with the ESP8266 Wi-Fi module